Welcome everyone to Chapter 5 Synopsis of the Intelligent Investor. Chapter 5 uh, talks about stocks and how to make sure that when you invest in stocks, you get the most for your money. When you invest in stocks, you must have a diversified portfolio, meaning 10 different stocks across 10 different elements of the market. Try to invest in large companies that have proven themselves, and these companies Try to make sure that you choose ones that have dividend payments, meaning they give you a share back of their profits to the stockholders. And then price earnings, uh, multiples of 25 or less, recommendation of 20 or below for any of the companies that you do decide to invest in. And when if you do invest uh, once a year, you need to do a portfolio management to determine whether or not you are diversified across all the markets to hedge your bets in case the stock market goes down. Also, one thing that he talked about is dollar cost averaging. Don't try to time the market, meaning most people, when the stock market is high, people want to put in their money uh, because they think they will continue to go high. When the market is down, people hold back on their money because thinking that the market will also continue to go down. But if you invest monthly, it doesn't matter whether the stock market goes up and down, it means that you're putting money into these companies in a regular basis. So it doesn't matter what the market is doing. It's called dollar cost averaging. Over time, you're able to see more, see better results instead of timing the market. Pretty much after um, investing in stocks, should you buy what you know? Um, you should you should buy what you know, but you have to do the second part, uh, which is understand the fundamentals uh, of the market and understanding the fundamentals of the company that they're operating at. It's not like uh, when the book talks about the example is Barbara Streisand. She said, I go to Starbucks, so I buy Starbucks stocks. But that is not the case. The book says, yes, that is good, but then... The second part is doing the research and showing whether or not Starbucks is a profitable stock and not just based on your preference. Because if you go with that, the Enron employees who just invested in their company didn't know that their company would go down and crash. And so therefore, they didn't look at the financials. You don't want to get screwed like that. So when you invest in stocks, uh, those are the things uh, that you must look out for. Diversify large companies, dividends, and price and earning multiples of less than $20 cost averaging, as well as making sure you do your research that you are investing in good companies, not just companies that you know or where you happen to have personal knowledge of.